Hey everyone, uh, it's Dylan here from the Black Forest. I'm here with Joe, and we're just getting ready to load up some tables. Tell them what we're loading, man. What are we doing? Uh, we're loading a big package here. We got a couple tables just on the forklift right now. Uh, we're about to bring those down. Uh, a bunch of the tables up here in this whole area are all going down. We're gonna pack them up into this crate that we got, big old crate, uh, and then we're gonna ship them down to Texas, where two of us will actually be shipped down with it, and we're gonna be installing them there. In the crate. In the crate. Yeah, we're, we're gonna yeah. package ourselves <laughs> in the crates, and we're gonna go down. <laughs> no, no, we're we're gonna fly down, but it's it's actually been a kind of kind of a challenge for us having all these tables up here, hey? Yeah. Like, cause this is our only finishing area, and there's yeah. like, there's not enough room for this many tables. <laughs> no. You can probably see. This kind of is perfect timing, because as we're moving all of these tables down, there's three more tables downstairs for our restaurant job we're working on that have to come up. So let's go downstairs. Let's show you the crate. So these are the, the crates that we're gonna be packed up in when we go to get shipped down there. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna fit all, all the tables in here. This is actually, I think, one of our biggest crates we've ever had. This is the biggest this, crate. Yeah, this is the <laughs> biggest time. crate we've ever ordered since we bought like 10 pieces almost that have to go in here. So we're gonna load this whole thing. Um, these are actually the restaurant tables that we were just talking about. Boys are unloading all the bases that showed up right now. And then there's one more stack. Uh, so you can't see them yet, but you'll see them by the end. These are all just coffee tables and stuff. So we're gonna bring everything down, load the crate. doing right now is I'm actually opening up our uh, counter board. Uh, right now what what happens is uh, we lined up all we lined up all of our inserts and just one of them didn't fit into the quite quite right into the table. So I'm gonna open up the inside of the counter board and uh, push it over a little bit, re-drill the hole and give a little bit of wiggle room for our screw to actually set in properly. Now we are putting together all of the coffee tables. What you saw just now, that was the, well actually, we built some of them as dining tables, but the particular client who bought these pieces, he's actually gonna be using them in his office. So there was the two walnut desks with the brass inlays. Uh, then there's the Clara Walnut Patchwork table. I think that's gonna be used as a desk as well. There is this glass table that we actually finally just got put together. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is also going to be a desk for some of the people in his office and this glass one was kind of tricky because what what actually happened here is we built this table probably six to eight months ago and the wood shrunk a little so our glass inlay did not fit perfectly anymore so it actually required us to go around and by hand like kind of chisel and sand the, the inlay group for the glass but we've got it fitting really nice now and if you, if you come up close you can see we've actually left gaps and that is on purpose because since this table is going to be going to a much more humid climate um, than here in Calgary, it means that the wood is probably going to expand slightly and if we have this perfectly tight and then it expanded, it could break the glass. So that's, that's the reason for the gaps is to allow for expansion and contraction. Um, here, here are the gentleman's coffee tables right here. So we've got this helm one. This has our smoky gray resin in. Um, these, all these coffee tables I'm about to show you, these are all about a year old. These are from the early on in the beginning days when we were 
we were really starting to get into the resin thing and it just kind of kicked off for us. So we've got the elm, which smokes great. We have got the maple. This is Canadian maple. And then just this is our first yeah. solid black pour we did. So that's a cast. Um, then we have got our Maui Blue. This one was actually made in a live demo that we had here at our shop. So we had like, I think there's like 100 people who watched us pour this one live. That's going down there. And then I'll take you guys over here. We got one more. Now you, you'll get a closer look at this piece later. But I can just give you guys a sneak peek. This is our solid white. So that's a piece of Canadian black walnut and we cast it just in a solid white resin there. So this is also going down there. Our goal is today by the end of the day, hopefully even not quite the end of the day, to have that full crate packed, all of the pizzas in there so that we can ship it down and then Sagar and I are actually going to fly down and deliver those pieces. We are finally done. This this wasn't easy. Definitely not. This this took a lot of extra work and that honestly we were not expecting to have to do this much extra work, but it's totally worth it in the end. Like yeah. what what all do we have to fix? Yeah. On this? Uh, the last two days, like we thought that uh, a couple days ago we were gonna get all of this stuff packed in the crate, already foamed up. <laughs> But uh, we decided that we we're gonna do some pre-fit assemblies to make sure all the legs fit, all the screws fit. And we actually had some change up of legs from what they used to be to now. So we had to redrill some holes, get everything to fit properly, um, had to maneuver some stuff with the glass table. That was hard. And that, was, that took four, hours. four, five hours yeah. maybe. Like, yeah. I don't know, it took quite a while. Um, but we got it all done. Uh, we're about ready to take it all apart now, foam it up, put it all in the crate, and ship it off. Yeah, and yeah. We'll, be, we'll be heading down to deliver this. So there's, I'll kind of explain the what what this gentleman bought, like what these pieces are that we have. So starting right in the front here, we've got our walnut cast in solid white resin, and then we've got it paired with some solid walnut legs. These these coffee tables all in the front and that back one, the patchwork, those were all made like more than a year ago. A lot of these, like these three were our first three kind of coffee tables made from resin that we ever did. So they're really special pieces to us. And it's just so great for us to see them go to all to the same home. Yeah. Um, then we got Elm. I, I actually like the Elm. I do, I like that Elm. Yeah, some of it's like kind of boring. Yeah. But this Elm has like all the, all yeah, the different nice grain. Yeah, and then it's got our smoky gray, which we never really do. Smoky gray, never. <laughs> it's not like it's our most popular color ever. <laughs> um, then we got black, solid black, cast in maple. What's that one? Bro? Maui blue. Maui blue. Nailed it. Yeah. First try. <laughs> Some people, I saw on Instagram when we posted photos a while, a lot of people thought that this looked like a silhouette of a lady. You kind of see that? Oh, yeah. yeah like yeah, they're yeah. saying that, like, that's like the top, this would be like the butt. Oh, that, I was thinking the other way. Like these are the hips, like legs. Oh, I see that like too. Bust. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's professional. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, this is our lady silhouette table, I guess. Then onto the, the desks. So some of these were made as dining tables, but like I said, he's choosing to use them as desks. So we've got these two matching walnut desks on either side. They have hand cut, well the inlays, the brass inlays themselves are cut with CNC, but all of the recesses for the inlays were all cut by hand. Cut from the same tree, the pieces of wood came from the same tree, they were actually book match pieces. So they're a perfect match. They even had cracks in like the same spot, so that made it pretty cool. And we got our glass one that Joe was saying was kind of a pain and really hard because we had to modify the shape a little bit with chisels by hand but it turned out really good. We've got a nice consistent gap all the way along just to allow for that expansion and contraction. Then the final piece. So this, it was just kind of a random idea we did for this. It had a bunch of knots. And then it's, instead of filling them with epoxy, we just did patchwork. So we routed them out, uh, chiseled them in by hand, and then inlaid these just with wood glue. And we've got, this one originally had steel legs as well, but we've switched it to walnut bases. And it's, 
very nice. Like the finish on this one's crazy. It's probably the shiniest one, I think. It is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, out of all of them. So we're we're pretty happy to and pretty proud of ourselves to be sending this all off to one client. Biggest furniture package we ever did. Um, now it's time to load the crate. So we'll we'll get on it. Here we go. We go. We are now getting ready to wrap up the final table. We've got basically everything else wrapped. The last one, and probably the most fragile one out of all of them, is this glass table. It is so nerve-wracking every time we even have to go and uh, stop making faces at me. Look at it, look at him. Oh yeah, now he hides, now he hides. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is probably the most fragile table we've had to, to wrap and package, so we're gonna show you kind of the precautions that we take just trying to make sure everything is still in the same condition that it is now when it gets down to Texas. crate is all done. Just about. All we have to do is put our glass in and then we're going to be screwing the this side on and we're going to screw the top on and then this thing's ready to go down to Texas. So we'll probably get this crate picked up. I'm thinking probably Tuesday of next week. It's Friday today. <laughs> we're literally filming this last part like an hour before the YouTube video goes up so that's always fun. Uh, at least for Haley. Um, but we will try and ship this thing out on Tuesday and we're not 100% sure yet but Either I'm going to try and vlog on my phone when I'm down there, or I'm going to vlog, I might take the camera if it happens to be on a weekend. But either way, we're going to make sure that we share tons of content with the, the total delivery of this. And, you know, just with this video, we wanted to show you the, the kind of care and how careful we have to be when we're sending these pieces. Because the obviously building the table, that's really hard on its own. There's a whole lot of effort that has to go into that, but we have worked really hard on this crate and making sure everything is perfect before it ships out. But that's about it. It's almost the end of the day. We'll get this thing wrapped up and we'll see you guys next week.